heat budget of the earth. Insolation is the amount of solar radiation that reaches the Earth's surface through short waves. Whereas terrestrial radiation is the heat radiated in long waves from Earth's surface. However, the annual mean temperature on the Earth's surface always remains constant because there is a balance between insolation and terrestrial radiation. This balance is known as heat budget of the Earth. Let us see, how incoming solar radiation or insulation is distributed in the atmosphere and Earth's surface. We will suppose that the total incoming solar radiation received by the atmosphere is 100 units. Out of which, 20 units are directly absorbed in the atmosphere through various greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, ozone and water vapor. 50 units are absorbed by Earth's surface. And 30 units are returned to space. These 30 units are scattered and reflected back to the Earth's surface through cloud cover, suspended dust particles and gas molecules. This reflected energy is known as albedo. So now, our 100 units of incoming solar energy is distributed as some. 20 units are directly absorbed by the atmosphere, 50 units are absorbed by Earth's surface and 30 units are returned to the space. Now, let us see, how outgoing or terrestrial radiation is returned to the space. All 100 units of the incoming energy is returned back over time. First we will understand, how the 50 units of energy absorbed by Earth's surface are released. Out of 50, 7 units are lost from Earth's surface through conduction and convection phenomenon. 23 units are lost through evaporation of water in soil and water bodies. And 20 units are lost by longwave radiation. Longwave radiation is the heat emitted by Earth's surface. So, in total, we have lost now, 50 units of energy, absorbed earlier by Earth's surface. Next, we will understand, how energy is released from Earth's atmosphere to space. In Earth's atmosphere, we already have 20 units, which were directly absorbed by the atmosphere from insulation. In addition, we also some energy transmitted by Earth's surface. We have seven units which were lost from Earth's surface through conduction and convection, 23 units which were lost through evaporation, and eight units out of 20 units which were lost by longwave radiation. So all these 58 units are emitted to the space by atmosphere. However, it happens over a long time and some energy is always in reserve to maintain Earth's temperature. Other than these 58 units, 30 units are already reflected back to space. And remaining 12 units are directly emitted to space from Earth's surface. So all 100 units are returned back to space.
although the earth as a whole maintains balance between incoming solar radiation and outgoing terrestrial radiation but the energy received at different latitudes is not same tropics are the region of surplus heat as the amount of insulation is higher than terrestrial radiation whereas polar regions are the region of deficit heat as the amount of outgoing radiation is more than insulation winds and ocean currents transfer heat from surplus heat regions to deficit heat regions this is how latitudinal heat balance is maintained